Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is my first ever YouTube video, so I'm a bit nervous. Um, but this look's going to be on my everyday go-to hair and makeup. Um, and if you want to learn how I got this look, then please keep watching. So to begin this look, I start by using Nivea Anti-Age Day Cream all over my face, just to add some moisture to my skin. I then take the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Spray and spray that all over my face just to add that extra moisture. And because I've got quite rosy cheeks, I like to pop the Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer in the shade Sand just over the areas that I get quite red throughout the day because I'm only using a BB cream as foundation. I then use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush along with the Rimmel 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting BB Cream in the shade Light Matte and I just apply that all over my skin. Again, it hasn't got a lot of coverage, that's why I used the concealer to begin with. I then use a makeup wipe just to make sure my foundation brush is clean after I've used it. And then I take my beauty blender with the Revolution spray again just to dampen it rather than going to the sink. And then I just press all of that BB cream into my skin just so it looks nice and flawless. I'm going to use the Maybelline Anti-Age Erase Eye Concealer and I'm just going to use that to highlight all the areas I want to, so the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow around my mouth and under my eyes and then a bit on my forehead. I'm then just going to take my beauty blender just to blend all of that concealer in. I'm then going to just prime my eyes with that same concealer and blend it back in with the Beauty Blender. Then to set all of that I'm going to use the Real Techniques setting brush with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush, make sure any creases are blended out in my Beauty Blender before I set anything. And then I'm just going to press all under my eyes. And then on my eyelids and then down the bridge of my nose and anywhere that I tend to get more oily throughout the day. And then using the NYX number no. 2 brush I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Now I'm onto my brows and I'm using an angled brush with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Taub because my hair is quite light and I'm just starting from the tail of my eyebrows and just working the product all the way through and then towards the inner part of my eyebrows I like those quite feathery so I tend to do very light brush strokes upwards. And then I'm just going to use the exact same technique on the other eyebrow.
now we're on to my favourite bit of doing my makeup and that's bronzing. So I'm going to use a Real Techniques buffing brush with the Peaches and Creams bronzer and that's in the shade light to medium. And I'm just applying that all around the outer parts of my face. If you've never heard of the brand Peaches and Creams, um, search them on Instagram or on Google. They're an amazing brand from Liverpool and they sell loads of products. And then I'm using the Real Techniques blending brush with the same bronzer, just in my crease, just to define my eyes a little bit. It just makes them appear a lot more open and brighter. And then you can just add a little bit underneath your eyes as well. And then with the amazing Carly Bible palette, I'm using the very first light matte shade just all over my lid with the Real Techniques shadow base brush. And to highlight, this is the Peaches and Creams Halo Highlight with the Real Technique Highlight Brush. I think you might notice I love Real Technique brushes. <laughs> and I'm just applying this where you'd normally highlight, on your nose, your cupid's bow, just under your eyebrow and in your tear duct. And don't forget your cheekbones. This highlighter is quite a light pinky shade it's really lovely though I'd say this highlight and soft and gentle by MAC are probably my two favourites and they're just to lightly contour because this is an everyday makeup look I'm just using my same bronzer brush with the Benefit Hula bronzer only very lightly And then with the Real Technique Blush Brush and the Makeup Revolution Baked Blush in the shade All I Can Think About Is You, I'm just adding a little bit of blush to my cheeks. And then with a Primark, I think, Kabuki Brush with no extra product on, I'm just making sure everything's blended nicely. And then just adding a spritz of the... Revolution spray again just to add that moisture back in where I've had all the powders on my face I'm then just curling my eyelashes and I think these curlers are Primark and I love that the rose gold is my favourite I'm then going to use mascara now I've always used the Maybelline one by one lashes um, but I've recently found, just from YouTube and other YouTubers recommending, the L'Oreal Telescopic, and I absolutely love it. So that's now becoming my new favourite. I just love how separated your eyelashes look when you've used it. And I'm not going to be adding any eyelashes with this look, because again it's just an everyday look. And then just to add some moisture to my lips, I'm using the Vaseline, I think it's the rose flavour. But then I forgot, I hadn't set my brows, but I'm using the Rimmel Brow This Way Gel. It's just clear, but it just helps your brows to stay where they are all day. And then with the MAC Subculture Lip Liner, I'm going to line my lips.
And as always, I'm going to use the MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick by MAC. I love this, it's like the perfect nude, not too pink, not too brown. And then on top of that, just in the centre of my lips to create a little bit of an ombre, I'm going to use Mick by MAC. And finally, just to set everything in place, I'm using the Urban Decay Almost a Setting Spray. I couldn't get the lid off. <laughs> um, yeah, just spritzing that all over, and this is the final look. Right then, so on to hair, um, I'm going to be curling my hair as I normally would every day because I've got really like frizzy, naturally curly hair, it's very thick as well. It's easy for me to curl it in quicker than to straighten it because it never stays straight. So I always use, um, I think this is the GHD IV Styler, I've always used GHDs, I know that um, the Cloud Noise straighteners are really good as well. Good, it's just whether they last very well. Um, but yeah, I've always used JHDs and I've never had a problem with them. So yeah, um, I'm just going to curl my hair through with a big paddle brush because I find this is the um, quickest and easiest way to get any lugs or knots out my hair. So I'm just going to curl all my hair through. My hair's quite long as well. Let me just get a section clip. So I've got a section clip. So what I normally do, I always section my hair just because of how thick it is. Um, I find it easier to take a section. Um, I think I take about three sections, I'll show you though. So I'll start with the first one. So I normally like go just above my ears. And I just twist it around. I have got really bad roots at the minute, so that's why I've got like a dark shadow on the top of my head. <laughs> it's not nice. So, get my straighteners, and what I tend to do because I want this section to be nice and straight, I tend to every section that I take, I start and I just very slightly run the straighteners at the root to make sure that's nice and smooth. And then about a quarter of the way, halfway down my hair, I tend to clamp the hair and start twisting it as I pull it down. So just keep twisting it all the way down until, as you can see, get those ends in, make sure they're in. And then I twist it right the way up. And I hold that for no longer than 10 seconds. And then just lips it. So it starts off really nice and tight, but through the video you probably see it does drop. You can use hairspray on each section that you curl, but I um I don't tend to use it because it makes my hair even more heavy and it drops quicker. Um but it's up to you. So then I'm gonna take my back section and I'm gonna do like one, two. Three, four at the underneath section. So again, straighten the root, twist it halfway down, all the way to the ends, and twist it back up. Hold it for a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to speed through this side of my hair because obviously I've showed you on this side the only difference is when I when I come to this section I hold the straightener so that when I'm obviously I straighten the root but then when I tend to curl I'm curling it away from my face because I don't like it when one side of my hair is away and then the other side is towards my face I think that your hair's much um much more what's the word much more natural looking and more beachy looking if both sides are away from the face so I'm going to take it all the way up 
and then loose it. So I see how that curls away from the face. So I'm going to speed through, like I say, I'll be back in a minute. And there you go, so that's the bottom section. You can already see that this curl is starting to drop, but to be honest, I prefer more of a loose curl anyway, so that doesn't really bother me. So I'll then take my second section, which goes from sort of my temples round. In the morning, this takes me like five, ten minutes, which is why it's easy for me to do every day. I know people aren't as quick with straighteners as they probably are with like the tongues or anything like that but it's just practice um, whenever somebody asks me how I curl my hair and I say the straighteners like oh god I can't do it with the straighteners but it is so easy but it has took a lot of practice to master um, straighteners a bit annoying but you just get through it so I'm doing the exact same thing straightening the root out and then dragging it down I'll probably start to curl a little bit further down as my sections go up I mean it's personal preference but I prefer to not have a curl much higher than here well from my chin really just because I like the way that that looks so again you can see the kink so I'll just try and straighten those They not don't always work, so just try again. And I know why. Oops, just them off. In halfway. Again, I'm curling this side away from my face. And I tend to have to just keep straightening over that root at the back because that's where my hair's most curly. And then, as you can see, and then I take my last section, which is the top. And again, straighten the root. But a lot further down now, I'm just going to curl those very, very ends. Just so it all blends in nicely. And I haven't got, like, because I've got layers. When I curl it, I don't want curls up here, but then this will, will have dropped. So, um, you want to get it to all flow nicely. Again. Okay. Right, I'm just on the ends. Now with my fringe, this is a little bit shorter. So where I've got this short section. I tend to just bend it rather than curl it. As you can see. And then... So it can be quite messy with this, you can take really thick sections if your hair is a lot smoother. So I have to take more again because... The way my horrible hair is. Now, 
have a mannequin show called Bill. Any freezy bits at the back. There's the roof. There's my necklace gone. So this is the effect it should give. Again, it's dropping really quickly, but it's just going to give that really natural loose wave effect. You can just have a little play with it, make sure everything's how you'd like. So this is the final look. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was my first ever YouTube video, so I hope everything's been okay. Um, I'm going to link everything, all of the products and everything that I've used below. Um, and I will link my Facebook and the Instagram accounts below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And I'll see you soon.